What's up, guys? Um, today, I want to touch on a subject about being first. This world and this country particularly is, is almost obsessed with being first, right? First in show, first place, all those kind of things. I get it, makes sense, right? Being first shows your excellence in whatever it is you're trying to do. With that said, this particular video, I wanna talk about being first to market. In other words, being among the first people to do something that ends up going into a huge direction. Let me give a couple, two or three examples. One of those would be Microsoft. When Microsoft was first being put together by Bill Gates, it doesn't matter to me what you think about him as a person. I'm talking about business right now. When he first was putting Microsoft together as a company to sell this particular product, he had people working for him that he, they were basically working for free. And why? Because he didn't have any money. He was trying to pull it together and it just didn't have any money. So he gave people an option. In lieu of a um, high salary, would you accept a low salary and stock options? And those who said yes, quickly learned they made the right decision. They were first. They were at the beginning right? The very beginning. So being at the very beginning of Microsoft and getting stock in Microsoft when it was less than a dollar, that's a great position to put yourself in, right? Another example, Bitcoin. When Bitcoin first came out, regardless of what you think about Bitcoin as being real or any of that kind of stuff, let's take all that off the table. Let's just look at somebody approached me in 2008, I think, 2009. He said, hey, man, have you heard of Bitcoin? I said, no, what are you talking about? Right? He said, you got any extra money? So who's got extra money, <laughs> right? So he said, a hundred bucks, dude, a hundred bucks in Bitcoin. Right now it's less than a penny, right? Now, clearly I would never make you assume that I would have held on to that a thousand coins of this Bitcoin until it hit $20,000. $20, no, <laughs> no, I would never have done that. I probably would have sold it when it got to $10. Right. But the point is, if I had bought it in 2008, I would have had a tremendous upside. Tremendous upside. Right. Another example. Amway. Now, you might say Amway. Nobody want to talk about Amway. OK, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. But here's what I know about Amway. Good, better and different. Amway was the first and the largest direct sales company on planet Earth, right? And I'm going to show you a little, just a little thing here. The 500 largest direct sales company in the world in 2021. Now, it's 2022 right now, of course. But the 500 largest direct sales company in the world. Check it out. Amway, number one. Revenue in 2020, $8,500,000. In 2021, in 2020, $8.5 million for that company that nobody, nobody wants to join. They made 8.5 million bucks in 2020. In 2019, they made 8.4. They went up $100,000 in one year. Why? Because clearly it does something. <laughs> okay. But the, the point is, it's selling products. Amway sells all kinds of products, products that you don't know about and products that you use every day. They sell at Amway, right? Let's keep on going. Herbalife. Herbalife's been around forever, forever. They did $5.5 million in 2020, right? Let's go down. Avon. Oh, y'all mom has Avon products, <laughs> all right? Melaleuca, forever. Mary Kay. New Skin, let me find some more that everybody knows. Primerica, Tupperware, 
Did you know that was a direct sales company? You can't just buy Tupperware in a grocery store. Didn't you know that? But your mama, everybody got Tupperware. And everybody's heard of Tupperware. Roden and Fields, that's a newer one. Let's find some more. Shackley. My grandmother used to have Shackley products in her house. Out in the country. Somebody sold my grandmother Shackley. Isogenics. Almost every woman I know was drinking those nasty ass shakes at one point. <laughs> right? Because it works. Right? Limited scope of who you can market to, but it is what it is. Right? Direct sales. In other words, no store. You sell directly to the public. That way you cut out the middleman. You get more money to make. I'm not pro MLM. I'm not uh, against MLM. At one point I was because that just wasn't working for me. But, uh, but let's go to the bottom. 131 million four hundred ninety two thousand dollars collected in 2020 alone and most of it made through products right products right and how they sell those products is based on you being excited either about the product or you being excited about the business or you being excited about both that's how i feel right now because for a couple of reasons one I'm going to use this product as long as I drive a vehicle that I put gas in. Let me say that again. I'm going to buy and use this product as long as I drive a vehicle that burns gasoline. I'm going to use this product as long as my lawnmower uses gas. As long as a chainsaw uses gas. Anything that uses gas, diesel, biofuel, anything that's carbon-based, I'm going to be using it because it's going to save on the mileage I get on the gas. It's going to save on how much oil I need to use. It's going to save on a number of oil changes. It's going to lengthen the, the life of every product that I own that I have to put gasoline in. And it'll do the same for you. It's got 30 years of proven history, and it will not mess up your car or your truck, your lawnmower, chainsaw, snowblower, anything. Yeah, I got a snowblower too. Yep, I'm using it for that too. Right? I will be using this product as long as I use gasoline product, uh, gasoline vehicles and, and utensils and anything that use gasoline. I will be putting my product in first and then filling it up. So it didn't matter to me about the business, really. But then when I saw the business, how this compensation plan, and I've seen a million of them. I've never seen a comp plan like this, where the average person can make money to and don't have to promote, do nothing. Just sit there. Pay for your product every month. Pay for your product every month, and you can get paid. Now, here's what makes that even more interesting. Because most of these little companies that said all of that, that was because they had these big heavy hitters that were just front loading, dropping people in here, manipulating the website and all that stuff. And then it goes away. You know why it goes away? Because they're selling stuff like Forex programs. Nobody wants to trade Forex. Nobody I know. If you do, that's cool, but you're doing it because you're trying to sell a product. But the bottom line is you want to make a small fortune in the Forex market? Put a large fortune in. Because it's the only financial trading vehicle where you can lose more money than you got. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Right? But somebody decided to make a business out of it. Too small a niche. Because technically, you need about 50 grand to even trade the Forex. They don't tell you that part. If you want to make some money. But if you want to make money selling the Forex pro uh, software program or whatever, yeah, that's another deal. But you're going to lose people every day. That's why these companies come and then they go. What's the one thing everybody's talking about right now? High gas prices. And how are they going to pay? Right? 25% of your income going toward gas and it's getting higher. How are you going to pay it? You're not making any more money than you're already making. The company you're working for is not going to give you a gas raise. No. Right? So how are you going to make more money? You're not. So you need to save money, right? Yeah, of course. So if you can save 10, 15% on your gas usage, that's saving you money. That's literally keeping money in your pocket. But what if you could just tell people about it and make money? Or what if you just used it and made money? 
This is one of the few companies I've ever seen in my life where you just own the product and you can make money. You don't have to market to anybody. You don't have to make any videos. I make videos because I'm an entertainer. I love doing it. But you don't have to do anything. You go, sign up right there, get the product, $60. That's how much it is to tell you right now. It's a $60 product. That's the only way you can make money doing nothing. You buy the $60 product. You put one tab in your gas tank every fill up before you fill up. That's all you got to do. And sit tight. It's a brand new business. It started 1st of June. Now, the product is 30 years old. Walmart uses it for their trucks. Come on. It's not about hurting your car. Nobody cares about your little car. It's not going to hurt your car because there's nothing going in the tank that comes out of your tank and messes with your engine. Nothing about it. It treats the gasoline and makes the gasoline burn better. Let me give you a quick example. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a physicist. Let me explain to you really quickly in the only way that made sense to me. You take, take a sheet of paper, right? You light the corner. It's going to smoke. It's going to burn slowly. It's going to smoke. Smoke, 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 burn, 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 smoke, ashes, okay? But if you take this sheet of paper and you cut it up into 60,000 little bitty little pieces and put it in a bowl, it's going to go whoo. That's what it does. That tablet goes in your engine and changes your gas molecular structure so that the big molecules of gasoline turn into little small ones. So when, it, when, that, when that spark plug fires, that, that gas goes whoo, right? It makes your engine work better. It leaves no residual carbon, which is why you have oil in your tank. You have oil in your car to lubricate because the, the carbon is like sandpaper. Right. It cleans the whole engine out and it increases the life of your engine as well as save you gas and oil. Why would you not use it? Right. So, yeah, products 30 years old. Zero liability. EPA registered. The only one that is everybody else is a knockoff. I'm telling you is everybody else is a knockoff. Everybody. Is a knockoff. The original patent, the original patent, I can show you the documents. Now, anybody else shows you, they're showing you a knockoff, something they copy and pasted. I'm talking about the real deal, guys. So let's say you just bought it and you used it every fill up because this is a brand new company and huge marketers coming from some of those knockoffs are coming in and because it's a three by eight force matrix is forcing people into your company. So you just sit tight, use the product, sit tight. Next thing you know, you look up, you make 150, 200 bucks a month. Well, that's not a lot of money. It sure is not. But you're spending 60. How many times would you give me $60 and I gave you back 120? For me, if you were giving me 120, I'd give you 60 all day and twice on Sunday. I'd do it all day. And all you have to do is pay, pay for your product every month, $60. And every month they gave you 120? You're going to start telling somebody about it. That's why the company set it up that way. For the common guy, the first time I've ever seen a network marketing company that goes against the, the historical nature of MLM. This company's going to break records, and it started a month ago. Be first. Be first. Be the first person to get the product. Be the first person to start using the product that you know, and be the first person to get in a company that's going to get as big as Amway. You watch what I tell you. It has to. There's no way it would not. How does a car move? You step on the accelerator. Accelerate, folks. Click on the link below. Watch the full video. But in the meantime, do not buy. Don't buy another gallon of gas until you see this. Don't buy another gallon.com. Click on it and go now. now okay i'll see you later peace